Hello everyone and welcome back. It's happening. Windows 10's end of life has been set for October 14th, 2025. That's right. What does this mean? Well, that means that the operating system software will continue to work. However, the updates will stop. This includes things like security updates, support for the operating system, patch updates, bug fixes, etc. The list goes on and on. Everything all the way from program and software compatibility down the line to your browser is just flat out not working anymore at all like you can't even go to a website if you want to in other words you will still be able to turn your computer on if you're running windows 10 you'll be able to sign in everything will look the same but things will definitely not be the same in the background you won't be getting the virus and security protection that you need you won't be getting patch updates for things that are broken in the operating system that they know are there that need to be fixed right like featured updates ongoing updates the things that keep the operating system running and going and again things are going to flat out stop working, right? So what are your options? What can you do, right? What is the alternative? What 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 can you do? Well, let me tell you what you can do. The first thing is I wanna cover again, the worst possible thing that you could do, but I guess it's still an option. I hate to even say it like that because it's really not, is you could stay on Windows 10 until it finally just kicks the duff, dust, spits, cough, coughs out dust right out of your machine and dies, right? Not really, that was dramatic. That's not really what's gonna happen. But eventually it's gonna be so unusable that you're gonna hate the experience. You're gonna be on there trying to use it like you used to and you're gonna be like, why Windows 10? Why are you doing this to me? Well, it's not the operating system's fault. Again, Microsoft is abandoning the project. They decided that starting October 14th, 2025, nobody from Microsoft is gonna be working on that specific project anymore. They're gonna all shift over and focus on Windows 11, right? So other alternatives right you could ditch windows you could get mad at them for this darn you windows why microsoft why did you do this to windows i loved windows 10 and i wanted to stay there yeah you could do that you could ditch them for mac or you could get a linux computer right you could become a power user in a matter of what uh about a year um and then hopefully by uh you have a little over a year so i'm joking these aren't realistic options the reality of the situation is Windows users will have to transfer over from 10 to 11. Now, this could be really scary for people. I know a lot of people are scared of Windows 11 and the things that they've heard. When the operating system first launched, there was a lot of bashing going on. At that time, people were putting down some of the new features that were supposed to be better, right? It was supposed to have improved security. It was all supposed to have increased compatibility with newer software and features. That didn't always turn out to be the truth really all windows 11 had going for it in the beginning that was different was the fact that it had game optimization built in which still is a big win for gamers right because we were able to optimize our game settings straight within windows it actually had like a game boost performance mode within that basically kind of turns down your background processes that aren't involved in gaming and makes it so your system runs your game better that was kind of nice that feature plus the fact that the ui looked a lot fresher and cleaner uh, in the beginning, that was about it. Other than that, people were having a lot of compatibility issues, running into bugs and things like that. Well, it's been some time since the operating system released and they've been able to fix those through ongoing updates. I can personally say I use Windows 11 on one of my computers. I like it. I don't mind it at all. It's just a new Windows version with a slightly different look. In the background, it's basically the same old Windows. Runs the same. Mostly everything that I did on my Windows 10 computer, I still do and can do on my Windows 11 computer. In fact, I can't think of anything that I personally lost in the transfer. However, I don't use a ton of older software. I do, for the most part, use a lot of the newer stuff um, or at least software that was made within the last 20 years. And so far, I haven't really found any issues with any of that um, or maybe if not even made within the last 20 years. If it was made further back, at least it's getting ongoing updates no issues there so all in all it's a safe bet that you could just move to windows 11 and that's the option that you're going to be stuck with right so yes as all good operating systems have ended so will windows 10 october 14th 2025 it is sad i enjoyed it but until then we get to enjoy it for that last little bit we still have a year and some time so and who knows by then maybe everyone will be in love with windows 11 maybe they'll make some drastic changes over there that are completely different and we fall in love with who knows i mean they still have microsoft paint so can't be that bad anyway 
I hope you all enjoy this video. If you're having any kind of anxiety or you have more questions about moving from Windows 10 to 11 or you need help moving from a Windows 10 to Windows 11 computer, that's exactly what we are known for. So come on down, call my computer works video uh, numbers at the end of the video at the beginning of the video down in the comments. We're, we're easy to find. So come and find us. We will help you get from that Windows 10 computer over to your Windows 11 computer easily. And on top of that, we'll give you a little education on it. We'll teach you how to use it a little bit. So again, like subscribe. As I always say, please, we love it when you do so. And I will see you on the next one.